Um, so we've been selecting the Glen Vivian Open winner this year. And we've worked well together, haven't we? Yeah, we have, I think. And um, we've mostly agreed. Um, and I think we've sort of um, kind of thinking through themes as well. Yeah, I think it's interesting what jumps to you when you're when you're selecting um, the patterns. I think at the beginning we thought, oh my god, there's so many works, like all 500, and how are we going to actually, you know, have that synergy and decide what is actually going to win, and are we going to like argue about it? But as it happens, actually, you know, good work. Yeah. Yeah, good work actually jumps out at you. <laughs> and I just think uh, an amazing response from the, the artistic community in the area. To, to have so many pieces of work just shows the quality of work that is out there um, in and around Swansea. Mm -hmm. um, also like very diverse kind of media, um, so for instance like painting um, and what can actually be done with it that is sort of intelligent but also technically competent. Um, and I think that was, that was one, one defining thing and we yeah. like the local. Yeah, I think the, lo the local feel, and, and again, just as we say, the, the craft been at the forefront of what people are trying to achieve with what they're presenting to us. So, while it was at one level difficult to choose because there was so much good stuff, um, I think we're both really pleased. We yeah, have almost yeah. exactly the same yeah. shortlist. Yeah. So here we are with the. Uh, much deliberated, but yeah. much agreed yeah. with us, and the winner is... Francisco's Ugly Lovely Town, um, which is a, a painting um, of Swansea. Sometimes it looks like a photograph, um, and then when you come up close, you can actually see the brush brushwork. It's got this uh, element, almost, that has you sort of bright and it feels like one day on a very sunny day and then if you're standing elsewhere and looking at it there's something really dark about it as well. It's got um, an amazing warmth to it. Uh, I think one of the things that really decided it for me was standing at the back of the gallery and being able to see it and it totally changes it's almost like you can see the undulations in it here mm -hmm. but if you go and stand at, at the back of the gallery it's, it's a complete picture it's, it's nice. It's but it also references a whole art historical tradition of mm -hmm. painting with uh, the landscape, you know, painting landscape after photography. Um, you know, how do you represent the truth about something? So it's got all of that going on conceptually, but it's also just really, really straightforward. Yeah, no, it's a nice piece. So second place we've got Jack Morris. Um, just uh, really, Clinical in his approach and delivery, as, as he always went, is his ability to document himself in, in self portraiture kind of way just brings intrigue to the photographs that he's taken of his work. Really, really special piece. In a kind of way, it's about control. Yeah. Um, and uh, fragility at the same time, this mm -hmm. really interesting dynamic. Um, and it's just it's just a beautiful work. It's such a simple work, but it's just so so, so well well delivered. Yeah, yeah. so well delivered. Um, okay, then there's our third. This, this work is Helen Belton, uh, Wayfinder. Um, it was something that we saw on maybe second, third look round that really grew on us as we looked at it. Mm -hmm. um, and again, we really like it complexity and the way it sort of handles the medium uh, from a distance it looks abstract um, you know uh, you know the, the little uh, mark at the bottom uh, with um, her initials uh, looks almost like a Chinese sort of stamp so at one level it could almost be like a Chinese scroll it's very an abstract one um, and then as you look at it again it's obviously a landscape you saw a dam. Yeah, I thought possibly a, a dam that they're walking down to, which is quite interesting. We'll have to find out, won't we? Yeah, <laughs> what, what it actually is. But it's another one that, that like, was really nicely with the 
general idea of, of the kind of balance between um, abstraction and privilege. It's another one that, that like, will really nice to me with the whole idea of, of the kind of balance between um, abstraction and privilege and, and you know, what we see is kind of dependent on the understanding. Okay, and then we've got two highly recommended works <laughs> that almost like sort of um, like the top three. Top three. Yeah. So.